Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One minute apologist. If you had one minute Apologia. to be able to unpack for the audience, Apologetics seeks to give credible answers to curious questions, to give a defense. What are spoofs against the resurrection? In an attempt to debunk the resurrection of Jesus Christ, many skeptics have come up with many spoofs to debunk it. They know that if they can debunk the resurrection of Jesus Christ, then Christianity crumbles without it. Among some of the spoofs are as follows. First, one such spoof is the fact that Jesus was born and he had a twin brother. And at birth, they were parted and went their separate ways. While Jesus was dying on a cross, his twin brother happened to be passing through Jerusalem and he noticed his brother dying on a cross and he realized that's a mere image of me. And this is the Jesus of Nazareth I've been hearing about. So when Jesus died, his brother would go and proclaim, I'm alive, I have risen. Another myth is the fact that the people will say these people were hallucinating when Jesus Christ appeared to them. But he appeared on several different occasions. In fact, on one occasion, he appeared to 500 at once. Now, in my past, in my pre-Jesus days, I understood hallucination. And I can tell you something, 500 people don't hallucinate like that. Not only that, another theory is the stolen body theory, where some will say, hey, this is what happened. His body was stolen. He never really rose from the dead. But if his body was stolen while the Christians were out saying, he's alive, he's alive, wouldn't the person or the people responsible for stealing the body of Christ have brought the body to bear and say, it's a hoax. These guys are lying. And then another spoof that people bring up is known as the is the swoon theory. It came out in the 18th and 19th century. And basically, you need to understand as this theory is being developed in that time frame, this is a theory that says Jesus Christ never died on the cross. He only passed out. And then he was restored to consciousness once he was inside the tomb. Then he rolled the tombstone away and basically walked off and said, I'm alive. Think about that though. Jesus Christ was beaten so badly he couldn't even carry his cross down the Via Della Rosa. Simon the Cyrene had to help him. He was then crucified on a cross where he basically was just blitzed there at the cross with nails in his wrists, nails in his feet, a crown of thorns on his head. After he died, they basically took a spear and plunged him in the side where blood and water came out. Then after his death, Joseph of Amarathea and Nicodemus came, wrapped his body in about 75 pounds of linens, put him in a tomb, and rolled a large heavy stone in front of it. Now, do you think Jesus could have restored the consciousness and just unwrapped himself after incurring that kind of beating and then slide the stone away and walk out and say, I'm alive, I'm alive. Sometimes it's just a lot easier to believe the proof than it is to sit around and come up with spoofs.